Hey guys, this is our final video in our SEMA Best of 2022 series. Behind us, we've got Kevin Hart's all carbon fiber charger with a hell of a motor. I mean, this thing is sick, guys. It may not be the coolest thing in this video. We've seen multiple all carbon fiber cars, but they're mostly supercars at this show. But guys, if you've not seen the Speed Core build, for Kevin Hart, it has a thousand horsepower elephant motor. This thing is the cleanest build here. There's no telling what this thing costs to build. I'm guessing you can probably find it on the internet. You've got satin finished carbon underneath. Like the whole thing is carbon. Guys, this is the, just it's just ridiculous. I'm gonna squat down here and show you the stance. Look how tough this thing is. This thing, I bet it absolutely rips. You've got all the modern drivetrain all the modern tech and then you got the old school body but you've cut out the worst part which was all the weight look at the front of this that is custom my goodness this right here this right here is a special car this is kevin hart's 69 plymouth roadrunner he calls it michael myers it's got a modern supercharged hemi in this thing this build is clean. Guys, the paint is blacker than black. You got a carbon fiber front bumper. I think the front fenders are carbon. This thing is, I think it's pushing like 940 horsepower. One of the coolest things about it is it is a manual. What you see inside. Look at that. This thing is plush, guys. I just wonder if Kevin can reach the clutch. I'm just kidding. Uh, the stance back here in the back. This thing's dropped. I wish you could. I wish the black paint would come across on camera, but it is. It's an unreal paint job. I can't believe this is just sitting out here at SEMA. You got a black carbon fiber and satin finished rear bumper. Little Roadrunner icon right there on the back of the deck lid. This might be one of the cleanest, one of my favorite builds here. All right, we're gonna have to show this off. This is a Pagani BC. This entire body is carbon fiber and we've got blue carbon, regular carbon. I mean, these are works of art. Got leather straps holding the front clip down for the hood. These mirrors. all the dry carbon on the dash beautiful beautiful hand-built cars so this is not just a Lamborghini Aventador Roadster this is a Scion so the owner of this paid multiple extras for this one-of-a-kind Oh my lord. It's, it's changing colors from front to back. And look up close right here, man. Come here. What is that? That's carbon fiber. That's steel carbon fiber. That's steel carbon fiber. And the, the carbon fiber changes right through here. Watch, guys. To it goes paint. To paint. And I'm, it's still carbon fiber, but it's completely covered with paint at this point. Then you've got all these gold accents. I think he's gonna let us drive it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a crazy rear end. Good gracious. That is nasty. Beautiful car.
If you don't know, I like DDE. What is DDE? Daily Driven Exotics. Right here is one of their most amazing builds. Seeing this color in person finally, I mean, let's go check this He's out. He's the fan, boys. McLaren 720 GTR. Are you crying? Are you crying? This is nasty, guys. This is worth the trip to SEMA right here, just to see one of your favorite YouTubers' cars. Maybe we'll have a car at SEMA one day. So if you don't know, this thing shoots flames out to here. <laughs> Literally. Look at the roll cage. Look at these tips, guys. On a 720, this is hydraulic, but they've deactivated that and put on the chassis mounted wing. I mean, this is their interpretation of a P1 GTR, but on a 720. And, uh, they knocked it out of the park. This is actually paint. Um, and this color in person is pretty wild. All right, what is it, Sam? This is the twin turbo SVJ by Gintani. Uh, this is their new kit. I mean, look at that. <laughs> You've got carbon fiber X brace. New, new intercoolers back here. I mean, this thing is nasty. And here's Mr. Gintani right back here. This is an STO Huracan. Uh, don't even know anything about that finish. It's satin. This thing is nasty. We're actually driving one of these here in Vegas on the track. You'll see that video on our channel. This is insanity. Look at this thing. Nobody does the rear glass of a car like Lamborghini. Nobody. I mean, this looks like the real life Batmobile. I'm at Anderson Composites booth, and guys, you've probably seen this kit with these, um, we call them the hole doors, and they're finished in carbon fiber and then painted on the body here, uh, but I've obviously seen those on the internet. You probably have too. They're pretty sick in person. Impractical? Yeah, you don't uh, get any windows with these or <laughs> handles or anything. So. But you buy them to be cooler than everybody else, and I'll tell you what, two-door Bronco with those doors on it, you may just be cooler than everybody else. Still at the Anderson Composites booth and found this C8 that is literally completely carbon. Pretty sick, guys. I mean, this entire body, every single piece, all the way around, spoiler. Gotta deduct a couple points because there's no carbon on the wheels. All right, this is a Zenvo. I've never seen this before, but I'm dang sure gonna go home and look this up. This thing has forged carbon fiber wheels, carbon ceramic brakes, that's barrel and all on those wheels. There's even a heat shield or a dust shield made out of regular carbon fiber. The whole bottom's carbon. I don't know that the whole body's not carbon. You can see the tub's carbon here. Look inside this thing. You got carbon seats. Heck, the floorboard's carbon fiber, guys. The console's carbon fiber. The dashboard's carbon fiber. This is an all-carbon car. You got the snout up top to force air in. I bet the whole car is carbon. This thing is wicked. I bet it weighs nothing. I'll tell you what, this X brace right here, made out of carbon fiber, it's beautiful. You got a huge diffuser. The bottom side is made out of 
made out of forged fiber. The top is weaved. Like this thing, the bezels around the lights are carbon. I like carbon fiber. Oh my goodness. That's blue carbon fiber. I don't know if you can see that. Yo. YOLO. Check out this wing on the side here. How it bends. That is sick. I will be looking this up. That looks like a video game car. We're at the at Nose Tech booth. I know a lot of guys that wrap cars. It's a different process, but man, they have got some awesome colors. And the quality of the sheen, you're not going to be able to tell this on video, but it looks more like paint than any other wrap material I've seen, guys. Um, check this Lambo out over here. Sorry. Check this Lambo out, man. titanium to match the wrap insane diffuser on the back sickest uh, sickest rear end of any Lamborghini at SEMA maybe ever the wrap does it man with the titanium tips I mean these wheels Golly, Bob. what in the world it's insane. yeah pretty nice car these two cars wrapped in a nose tech are actually Alex Choi's. Uh, the pearl, the baby blue, I mean, I can't describe it. Like, that stuff's crazy, guys. Uh, this right here, I mean, obviously your color, I would say. This used to be wrapped a different color. I think it was purple when he first did it. The biggest thing about this car is back here. You've got uh, heat wrap tape, and you've got exhaust right here. And this shoots flames out over the wing. <laughs> You don't want to get that carbon hot. I wouldn't personally wrap a car in this, but look at this Porsche with these goldish bronze wheels. I mean, what they're doing with this iridescent purple on these wraps, it's insane. This is voodoo. Here is a pretty slick McLaren. It's obviously wrapped. It's got the Taco Bell livery on it. I wanted to say that livery word all day. Obviously carbon ceramics. Pink and purple wheels, not necessarily my taste for a daily driver, but you gotta respect the build on this one, guys. Look at the freaking wing. You got the Taco Bell slogan on there. Oh my goodness. This thing's high. I mean, from the back, it's insanity, guys. I'm gonna start in the rear on this thing. This is the Apollo hyper car guys and i'm gonna start in the rear because of this exhaust that is a situation look at this diffuser back here guys that's deep that's like two feet deep the wing that ties into the roof insane it's like this catches right there at the snorkel to catch air for the rear engine the whole car is carbon fiber you've got carbon ceramics oh my goodness this is this is insane guys i mean this probably most expensive car one of, what's that most expensive car here probably it's one of ten in the world <laughs> this is unbelievable you switch the satin down low here <laughs> My goodness, look at these gold wing doors. This car is everything. Ah, look at this. Look at this arrow. I mean, this thing's like a go kart made out of carbon fiber with arrow on it. Good gracious. Got a 63 Corvette. Man, this thing is satin and matte everything. Guys, the blower, head covers, the alternator, everything in this. The bumper. The bumper is a satin Sat finished carbon. The splitter is satin finished carbon. Uh, Got satin a set of HRE wheels. wheels on here. Satin. You got a little bit of 
looked hard for the details. Look at this steering wheel. You got inside of the cabin, black every satin thing. with satin finished carbon, satin carbon in the middle, satin gold shift knob. There's also from the back, this is a very, very clean car. Split window. But underneath right here. Look at the splitter. I mean, it's the whole bottom of the car's carbon. Guys, this car looks like it would be a wrap. Everything that you see is usually a wrap when it's satin, but we are at the BASF booth, and this is paint. Right here is the most incredible thing I've seen at SEMA so far. This is a muffler for a Tesla. Tesla's yeah, I said, electric. Yeah, I said yep. that. But this makes noise. It's an electric muffler? Yeah. Electric, electric muffler? Is this a... I don't know, guys. Are we living in a simulation? It doesn't make any sense. So we found the guy's booth from APB. This is the same kit that's on mine. This is just a custom uh, powder-coated color here. Uh, it's massive, dude. <laughs> these rotors, man, they're huge, aren't they? I <laughs> they mean, look good, too. My they, goodness. These are going on Brad's truck as well really soon. They'll be in the red color right over yep. there. This is the caliper that's going on the Wolf. Guys, it's, it's lightweight. You can see all the pistons in there. Uh, stopping power on Sam's truck was ridiculous and with mine being powerful uh, gonna get lifted back up I'm gonna need all this braking power because right now they fade on those factory brakes really fast this is the best aftermarket brake you can get there's your burn yard this is just a little bit of the outside area but it's like building 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 we're in a building we're going well, to another building you could spend four weeks and not see everything here Alpha Rex booth. They've got a pretty sick F-150 here. These are their headlights. Had a set of those on my 2015. Uh, loved them. I mean this. Check this out. All right, back up a little bit so you can tell. This is black reflective. So if I look from here, it's just black. You get in the right light, it turns silver reflective. And then they even have an underlay underneath of a pattern. So you've got some contrast in there. This is a pretty sick wrap on this thing. I bet they've got tail lights. Got it uh, underneath the wrap up here. I'm, I'm gonna say, and this does have like a big bump out for Bliss. I don't know if these have Bliss, but this Actually, design- I think they don't, but- This design is sick. So if you yeah. got a truck that doesn't have Bliss, these lights look awesome. Maybe they do, and you'll let me know down in the comments, I'm sure. So everybody has an opinion on the new Bronco Raptor, the Raptor. This is what it looks like when you take the fender flares and basically color match them to a custom bumper. They kind of blend in a little bit better. Looks a little smoother. Obviously you got graphics tying things together here, but I do think painting these flares absolutely helps make this thing look better never seen this before it's at uncharted outfitters uh, these tracks are super wide and the brand on this bad boy says hawk so if you know what this is let us know it looks like you can haul several several people in this i don't know I don't, we don't got those where i'm from down in tennessee all right don't sue me bro but i have an eleanor clone but dadgummit guys this thing gets more interesting so you, it looks like, you know, 67, 68 Mustang, the classic Eleanor look. Inside, you've got like a 03, 04 Mustang interior. So I think this is a body swap. I believe this is like your 04, 05 top. And they've put panels in to give it the classic look. So you probably have a modern Mustang underneath all this skin. And 
this thing is balling. I love this. This is one of my favorite cars here. I would daily drive this. I would build a glass room in my house and then just put this car in it and get it out every day and drive it. You gotta love a GT3 RS and this bad boy is wrapped in satin black, HRE wheels. You got the gloss black graphics. This thing is nasty. And we're actually gonna drive this on this trip in Vegas out at the Speedway. All right, so a lot of people PPF their cars. A lot of people wrap their cars, which we've done both on our channel. But the new thing is colored PPF. So you can get all these crazy colors. There's a couple different companies here. We're at Flexi Shields booth, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of this actually going on. It's not as thick as regular PPF, but it's definitely not as thin as vinyl. It's somewhere in between. So you get protection and color change, and I think that's cool. So this is your factory paint color, and I'm not a fan of this color, but you can tell this sheen's black paint. It's not even been wiped down, but that's protection and color change. So here's the actual material. It is very tough. It does not pull apart and stretch like regular vinyl. Thanks for watching video three, guys. Make sure you check out one and two right here in the end card. SEMA 2022, we're out of here.